right? So I talked about stresses. This is what um, I mean when I uh, encourage students to stress certain uh, words. So I'm going to read this out without stressing any of the words, just normally. And I would like you to uh, tell me the difference after I do the second reading with stresses, right? I beg your pardon, I may not read this perfectly, right? This is not my oral exam, right? I may, I may make some mistakes, just bear with me. I'm trying to demonstrate the differences in stresses. On the first day of school, Annie walked into her classroom with a cardboard box. Out of curiosity, a few of her classmates asked her what it was for. Beaming with delight, Annie seized the opportunity to tell them about the importance of recycling. Not too bad, right? Everything is clear. Pronunciation is okay. It's there, right? And the flow, the intonation. But if I try to stress the words which are underlined and bolded, right? It brings a different level of uh, texture into the reading. It makes it somewhat animated, makes it somewhat interesting. And you realize that the meaning is even clearer. It's also clearer, right? If I stress these words. So let me try to show you. On the first day of school, Annie walked into her classroom with a cardboard box. Out of curiosity, a few of her classmates asked her what it was for. Beaming with delight, Annie seized the opportunity to tell them about the importance of recycling. So if you notice that by stressing some of these words, what I've done is I have created a deeper meaning in what I, were, what I was reading. It is easier to catch the meaning. And this is what the teachers listen out for, right? Don't stress every word, but stress the words which you feel will bring the meaning forward, right? In this case, I've chosen these words. Now, let me use an example. Annie seized the opportunity to tell them. So every word, different word that I stress will convey a different meaning. And it's not even subtle. It's going to be very obvious when I stress different words, right? So any sees the opportunity to tell them. Oh. So if I read like this, I'm stressing any as opposed to anyone else. So any seized the opportunity to tell them. So if I stress the word seized is the action taken by any, it compares itself with all the other actions that any did not do. So any seized the opportunity, right? So next, any seized the opportunity to tell them. Oh. So now you emphasize the Right? You want to emphasize that it was the opportunity. Right? Any seized the opportunity to tell them. Right? Then you use uh, the, the stress on tell right? as opposed to not tell or doing other things. Right? So every word that you stress will convey the meaning of what you're reading. Right? It is a simple thing to do, but sometimes um, it's forgotten. And you don't even need to stress many words. Right? In the entire passage, just think of stressing four or five then you will be at another level higher than if you don't, all right? So that is for reading. Take note of the final consonants. Take note of the TH sounds and remember to stress, okay? Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Chua. I hope the video that you have just watched uh, will be helpful to your child in preparation for PSLA English. So if you are interested to sign up for any of our programs, please feel free to check out this uh, QR code and then you can then uh, find out more about what we do to help our students at Connectors Academy. All right, thank you.